the now conquered Antarctic continent, there have been two pleasant reminders in this international geophysical year. Royal visitor to the Antarctic Survey Exhibition was Prince Philip. Here at the Imperial Institute were displayed objects of great interest to all who have explored or studied the South Polar regions. The husky and sledge are still used down there, even in these days of the airplane and helicopter. Nearly half a century ago, in the land of the seals and penguins, two great men immortalized their names seeking the South Pole, Ernest Shackleton and Robert Falcon Scott. The wax figures come from Tussauds, and it's appropriate to hark back to the chapters the two men wrote in the history of exploration. The sort of food now being used in the Antarctic and a stove used in Shackleton's base hut are seen alongside each other. Tinned food carried on Scott's last expedition was opened in the presence of Peter Scott, the explorer's famous son. It was found after being 45 years in the Antarctic by recent explorers. Here at the Tin Research Institute, it passed the nostril test. The scientific examination will come later. Scott and his fellow explorers, shown in this historic film of the fatal expedition, died marooned in their tent in a blizzard before they could reach their supply store. Peter Scott said the food was still good. For the makers of tins, this experiment was gratifying. Today's explorers can march on their stomachs with every confidence. The old food's good, and not even the matches go on strike.